Huh? Why are you trying to do it? What are you talking about? Egg it before, like, you try to, like, I mean, it's like, why are you, like, I know you for real in real life? <laughs> For the life of me, I will never understand the mindset of a man that goes on a path towards excellence, goes on a path towards achievement, goes on a path towards being the best at what they do in their given field and choose to sacrifice everything that they built up for a termite of a woman. DJ Academics is down bad incredibly after being disrespected a multitude of times by his girlfriend. And let me also say this before we get into this content, why it's important to go over content like this. Because outside of his fame, his notoriety, him having multiple millions of dollars through his success in his businesses and his utility, DJ Academics is just a man experiencing the modern culture today. And because he chooses to live his life publicly through outsiders capturing his life with his woman out and about to his own self-admitted bullshit with said woman, we can learn from that. And I tell you guys all day that intelligent people learn from their own mistakes, but wise people learn from other people's mistakes. But his level of simp is absolutely ridiculous. And I didn't realize it was as bad as what it is until I started doing research for this video. So buckle up, get your notepad ready, and be prepared for the lessons. But guys, remember this as we go through the totality of this video. No matter how much success that you gain within your life, no matter how much money that you earn within your life, unless you fix your internal issues, the money, the power, the success will do nothing to solve these issues. And in fact, I think those things will amplify the problem. Now getting into the content, I think you guys remember, this has happened about a year and a half ago where DJ Academics went onto the Fresh and Fit podcast and yelled at a young woman for what seemed like no apparent reason at all. Is the real rap. Is your voice that deep or at least you got like the word voice? Why, you want me to make a little bit of noise? No, I'm, not, I'm just saying. Yeah. If I heard pop smoke talking from heaven while I'm stroking, I'm soft. <laughs> real rap. It was a really weird situation, notably with DJ Academics popping off at this chick who had some <laughs> some good ass replies back and he couldn't handle it. Also with Sneeko adding to the sneak discs and this weird Batman and Robin dynamic that they had going on. And then also notably Mike Rashid, who's known for being good with women, just standing back and just paying attention silently why all of the BS was going on around him. I bet your boyfriend ever slapped me. What's the matter? I bet your boyfriend ever slapped me. But he can't find out better than you would, so. <laughs> but I bet you live in a fucking Section 8 housing and I live in a fucking mansion with yeah, God. Yeah, why is that different? Right? Uh, oh my God. You're, still, you're still unhappy. Oh, because oh, if you wasn't unhappy, it wasn't be, be, being being aggressive oh, and being rude. Yeah, uh, she, <laughs> I'm she, I'm she, she, you, listen to what she just said. You are not happy, baby. Like you got, you got to stop. Like be acting like weird. No, 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 just, no, 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 no. Happy. Happy. no, no. It's I'm not my problem if you want happy. Like I'm very happy I'm, with my happened? life. What do you think won't happen? Because of you're angry. Like oh. be no, weird. no, no, no. I'm asking you a question. You sound so, like no, no, no. Relax, relax, Sean. Mm. Your man ain't here, and okay. he couldn't. He couldn't afford to get in this building. Okay. <laughs> let me tell you this. Hey, let me also call this out as well. He doesn't know. I mean, I'm sure he has security and shit like that. Truth be told, you don't know who her husband is. Realize where you at. Realize where you at. Realize where you at. You a masculine looking to the face tag some fake titties, man. We think you're a nigga. To keep it real, we need a DNA test, bitch. No, real shit. What's going on right now? What is this doing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the point of this shit? Why is that? Why don't you be committed to kids? you yeah. And, and 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 here's the thing, Mike is absolutely upset right now, and I think it's for good reason. If you a nigga, they'll hop in. Oh, he's leaving. They, they will hop in because you're talking about them. You're talking about women. With eventually Mike Rashid leaving the platform because within Mike Rashid's mind, who has great relationships with women, he's thinking to himself, the loudest person in the room or the loudest man in the room is more often than not the weakest. So why would I continue to be on a podcast with these weak men yelling at a woman who is physically weaker than them. Oh. Stop, you're my, you're my nigga. 
Two nigga like in the oh. Get a Actually, 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 you should know. You should know enough to know he's shorty, 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 and you'll also notice when continuing to scream that is Big Ack in the building, right? Well, Big Ack later on that night got checked by his girl. As a man of value and substance, you have to understand this behavior amongst men in these social circles. They do it as a way, I guess, to intimidate others as if the things that they say is by some means valuable to who they actually are. I call it like peacocking. They're showing their wings in a colorful display. Meanwhile, the man is weak and pathetic. When you're truly a valuable man who deserves respect, there is no need for being loud, boisterous, or peacocking, especially to people that are weaker than you and that never even started the situation to begin with. But what he was trying to do was to publicly roast this woman, but I really think that it came off as insecure. I think that he's projecting his own insecurities regarding women onto this one woman because she seemed easy to pick on, but he found out later that she wasn't. But what's hilarious is that after all of this big act in the building stuff that he was throwing out, the following situation happened later that night. It sounds like three women arguing as he's carrying his purse. What's crazy is, is that um, he's yelling at her to stop fighting this chick with the red hair and he walks up to her and she tosses his hat off of his head he gets no respect from this woman we come to find out later that this woman right here is actually his girlfriend let's keep watching so he walks away So I need to blur this out for YouTube, but they start scrapping again. The girls start scrapping. All right. Now some other men come and break it up because he was unable to break up these girls fighting. This is not a man that is not the master of his domicile. This is not a man that is in control of his situation. This is not a man that is in control of his woman. All while screaming that he is the prize. This ain't for the prize behavior. See, women know that for men that are truly the prize, if you act up, you face consequences. You're out of here. There's no dealing with this toxic drama. There's no dealing with your bullshit. There's no dealing with your mouth. I'll be goddamn if I'm a public figure and I'm out in public screaming several octaves above my talking voice to get you to listen to me. But instead the dynamic is, is that the girlfriend runs shit and disrespects him. But MT Army, listen to me. If the woman that you're in a relationship with or the woman that you're dating disrespects you, then that's your fault not hers. You might as well get rid of her and start all over again because as a man, once you lose respect from your woman, there's little to nothing you can do in order to get it back. You should have held frame from the beginning because they'll only try you when they know that they can. But over the past year and a half, the young lady, there she is right there in all of her <laughs> loveliness, has been captured on tape demonstrating how exactly toxic that she is. No cap with you. No, I ain't even capping with you. He's live streaming. Yo, look at everything you told hold me. On. Gang. No, no, everything no. You told me. Oh, oh, look at yeah. yeah, Fefe. The detective that oh, that's what I'm talking about. Who FBG Butter he, he told is, is crying in the police station with an Alpha Davis signature. So he signed papers. He signed a statement. All right, so, so yes, in the police station, same you got same case going I got. Yes, Margie. doing the same shit, but signing papers in the police station, man. We gotta find that video.
How is this I'm the prize behavior? Please, somebody tell me. You're a multi-millionaire, my G. You can have whatever woman. Oh, let me not say whatever woman. You can have a lot more women in this world than the average man can. But instead, you deal with a chick who throws egg on your face midstream while you're working, while you're doing things to provide for her. That's the way that she treats you. How you go from being big act on fresh and fit, but the closest woman to you treats you like this. She's assaulting you. She's bullying you. This shit is incredible. I don't know whether or not to keep on commentating over this shit or call the cops that she's hitting you. But the bullying and the bullshit doesn't stop there. Shorty gonna send pictures or really like weird things of me to like Adam 22 and Troy Ave. She's like, oh, I'm gonna show these that really I'm your and I got pictures of you that nobody would want to see. And I'm like, this is why I'm even here. It's like police raided my crib. They kicked my door off. My mama was at my crib. They only kicked my door off. In reality, my mama didn't know what was going on. They put everybody in cuffs. I'm in cuffs. Even my mama is in cuffs. We're all sitting there. What's going on? I'm like, I'm still wondering, like, what's going on? I'm like, so there was, there was a woman that came to my house. That woman claimed she was assaulted. Not by me, by other people. She was getting trained by my two mans, like on my pool deck the night before when I'm sleeping. I, I said to her, I said, yo, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, bro. And you came to my house and had two niggas just raw. I ain't seen no condom, no none. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like they're saying, oh yeah, Shorty got R-worded. Academics got the tape, it's at his house, but he don't want to give up the tape. So that's their whole mentality. Act don't want to give up the tape. I could have had this woman in jail for 40 years. Are y'all listening to me? For 40 years. This guy's gonna come get a different result. There's a time I used to have a million dollars cash in my crib. That's a fact. Do you know what it's oh, half a million dollars for me? Cash. Bro, I had them in safes and all the time. I'm not checking the money all the time. I had money just sitting there. I gambled it. When Shorty moved to Houston, like whatever. You know, we like broke up or whatever. Not really deep. Nigga, I got a million dollars in cash. A million. <laughs> not talking about 50 a million. <laughs> she goes to Houston. Immediately she buys a hundred and forty thousand dollar car. She gets an apartment. Oh, I'm right over the Toyota Center. Okay. By the way, she took the money in June when she first moved to Houston. I got that money back in like October. <laughs> it's not like, oh yeah, I took it for like a couple days. <laughs> for months. <laughs> I'm dating academics. I could never another nigga without him telling you. Bro, you know how she got around that? Just don't f anybody lit in the industry. Bummest niggas possible. Like the niggas who got, yo, like this is part of, and I'm gonna end the story with this. Bro, I went through her phone, nigga. She was cash apping the niggas. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're f niggas, you're sending money? I'm done with you, bro. Like it's over. It is beyond crazy to me that you allow this woman so close within your life that she has the opportunity to do this laundry list of toxic shit to you and you have not yet completely removed her from the situation and you know what i realized about women anytime a woman is itching to know how much money you really got that's a problem she was like yo i don't know why you be telling people you a millionaire nigga i seen your i seen your td bank shit you had four hundred thousand in there and i'm like bitch you know how many bank accounts i got do you know where my money comes from bitch i'm making that a month <laughs> fuck is you talk but i'm like yo, that's a problem like, a woman really just she clocking my bread like that like why is you clocking my it's like she want to know how much money I got, who I sent it to. Nigga, my computer, if I leave my computer open for one second, go take a piss. She going to come back. Yo, who'd you cash app this? Who'd you PayPal this? Who did you pay this? Why is, yo, to the point that even, like, she start asking me why I'm paying my employees. I'm like, nigga, what you mean why I'm paying my employees? You think they work for me for free? You accuse her of stealing a half a mil. You accuse her of getting her cheeks blasted by the homies. She's assaulting you. She's uploading private information and pictures to your discord. She's putting you and your mother in danger with these allegations of R word. And she continues to embarrass you. But I learned a lesson. The way how you cheat on me and did me, I, I realized. What the f you talking about? <laughs> it ain't nothing, it's okay. What the f you talking about? All right, so that's DJ Academic's voice in the background. He's currently at his girlfriend's crib, and you can hear him, like, cupcaking or compromising with her in regards to her having cheated with him. Now, you're going to see a second he's just laying on her couch, 
in her crib, but he doesn't know yet that she's violating him because she is live on her Instagram. Pay attention. <laughs> she's laughing. What the f are you even talking about right now? Huh? Why are you trying to take pictures? What are you talking he about? He thinks it's a picture. Okay, before like you try to like talk shit about me, it's like, why are you like, I know you for real in real life. Look. <laughs> She's laughing. This is, this is fun to her. Look at he's running out the crib. <laughs> this is funny to her. His image is funny to her. She don't respect him at all. Let's take a look at DJ Academics real quick. I really think at this point, DJ Academics needs an intervention. I mean, cause think of it at the point where you have this obviously toxic young woman that you keep on inviting into your life. You're over at her crib. Taking a look at him right here, I mean, he's gained a severe amount of weight. I know a lot of times on his live streams, he's drinking Henny, he's drinking all this poison, all this alcohol and shit like that. I think that that is to numb the internal pain that he is going through. His hair is all messed up, all while pleading with his terrorist rat finkel girlfriend, pleading with her regarding getting her back torn out by other men. Looking at him at the couch right here, it is a prime example. DJ Academics is a prime example how success, money, fame, fortune will not make you a valuable or even a high value man. And it also demonstrates that not success, not money can fix your problems, your internal issues that allows a woman like that deep within your life. Even his own followers thinks that he needs help. I found this on his subreddit, Ack need help. I'm convinced this dude has no real friends. How are you gonna let Che, that's his girlfriend, do all that bullshit on the internet? Pretty much made you look like you was an artist. And then your man's allegations, I could tell he really has no friends around him because ain't no way y'all would even let this shit go as bad as if Myron really F with that dude. It's a business relationship. They need to go and have an intervention. Same thing that I'm saying. Because right now he's running his shit into the ground. I'm pretty, this brother don't use no periods. Uh, shade room, the neighborhood, talk and spiritual world. He needs rehab and I think he, I just needs a long break. I think he just needs a, <laughs> sorry. I think he just needs a long break from everything. It's been three weeks into the year and they already tried to cancel him on four different occasions. I swear for God, I better not have anyone in my community that writes like this. All right, put periods and commas in your shit. Proofread it. At some point, you gotta accept your boy has a type. The toxic type. That actually makes me think, wasn't one of his ex-girlfriends the Selena Powell chick, the scammer who's been arrested a multitude of times? I think she was a corn star at one point. I think she did a scene with Adam 22. But yeah, if a man is attracted to toxicity, then there's something internally wrong with him. But he's gotta know that there's no amount of Henny that he can introduce into his <laughs> veins that is going to block him for the inevitable result or the inevitable pain of his internal decisions. But I agree with this Redditor right here. <laughs> At some point, if you're a fan of his, you gotta just accept what he's into and he probably won't change anything until he hits absolute rock bottom. But a man that is attracted to this degree of toxicity, there's something that's missing within them. There's a hole in his heart for some reason. And there's no amount of Henny that he could use up on stream in order to avoid the inevitable, him facing his demons. But Jens, listen to me. If you've learned nothing during this conversation here today, just understand that the woman that you choose will be one of the most important decisions in your life because she will have the power to inspire you to the greatest of heights, or plunge you to the deepest parts of your damaged soul. Money cannot unsimp you because whether or not you're a multimillionaire or an average earner, simping is never pimping. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Me, go to Turtles and Reviews at Gmail. Dot com. Guys, what do you think about the content here today? Leave me your comments down below. Let's have a conversation and I will see you soon. Until next time, YouTube. Peace. Peace.